Couture is really a perfect playground for a designer to show their real creativity and talent. Garments which are tailored, which are executed, which are constructed, which are created, crafted for you. It's made specially for the woman who's going to wear it for a special event. It's also about paying respect to traditions which have been long forgotten. Couture for me is the detailing and it's made to order. Fine form, finish, Quality is priority. It's a complete fantasy chapter for a brand, really pushing the boundaries. It's a lot of thought gone into the garment. Opulence means a lot of extravagant clothing. It's the ultimate arena in fashion. It is a marriage of fantasy and your signature. We put 10 of the best Indian designers with their creations. It's their fantasy, it's what they think they are best at, the fine tailoring, the attention to detail, and you can see it at the PCJ Delhi Couture Week, which is in association with Audi. My overall design style would probably be very cultural, it would be very textile rich, but it would also have a little sense of bohemia because that is what makes culture exciting when you borrow from others but still imbibe your own. You know, it's weird. Usually, always Sabya has a very clean look. This is the first time that I'm doing a Sabya show where he's going with smoky eyes. So, it's going to be like black and brown smoky eyes and very nude mouth, kind of slightly chiseled cheeks. And, and that's it. And his, of course, his special black bindi. Yeah, of course. My collection of Delhi Couture Week is called Opium. It's very strong and heady. It has a very strong sexual undertone. It's very languid. It's very glamorous evening wear. There are a lot of molten gold influences from the 1920s, uh, glamour in Berlin, uh, Prague, Russia, Paris, Bombay, Calcutta. Beautiful textiles. The silhouettes are very languid, but yet at the same time there's a certain sense of darkness that kind of overlays the whole collection.
The biggest USP of my collection at Couture Week would definitely be the way we've treated our colors. Because it's red and gold, it's something that uh, I'm very comfortable with. And like I said, it is really my color. Hi, I'm Netra Raghuraman, and you're watching FTCI Presents PCJ Delhi Couture Week 2013 in association with Audi. Start designing a collection on the drawing board by first designing a kurti, and then I start moving on. Resort wear has always been my forte, but today I'm showing couture. Couture with a very relaxed feel to it, because I feel that women should look chic, but in a very effortless way. The brief is actually, it's a destination wedding in Miami. So the girls have to look really fun and sexy. So what we're doing is we're playing with the classic liner here and we're grooming the brows really, really nicely. So the whole look is very, very simple, but at the same time, it's very fun and sexy. So it's just playing with the liner and making the girls look really nice. Hair also, like if you look at it, like the whole idea is it's in Miami, it's destination wedding. So the girls have to look like as if, you know, they have gone out to the beach and the hair are like naturally curling up. The collection is called Happily Ever After. I'm doing Indian bridal for the first time, so I'm really excited because I have a new story to tell. The bridal collection features softly sculpted silks, luxurious velvets and French lace cut very close to the body. Handsome prints, Sherwanis, which are teamed with jeweled leggings, worn with silver or gold collapries. I believe that there's a new era in bridal fashion at the moment. It's all about mixing the old with new, masculine with feminine, sport with glamour. Basically, there are no rules. It's basically about your personal, individual style. Well, the shapes are contradictory. I have uh, rigorous shapes along with drapes. I have uh, flowy shapes along with structured shapes. My bride is bohemian yet modern. She appreciates romantic detailing on classic, relaxed silhouettes. Design philosophy for me is very simple. It's about the person. It's about emotions. It's about how you're feeling at that time. There is no set rule that this is, has to be this inspiration, this has to be you know, done in a certain way, a trend has to be followed. For me, it's the person who matters most and what they are feeling at that time and what I'm feeling at that time.
Namika Khanna this time, she decided that she wanted it absolutely clean, no fuss, almost raw. Girls have to, you know, kind of look like they have nothing on. So we are spending about half an hour each on every girl trying to make it look like there's nothing and uh, it's, it's very nude on the lips. It's mainly uh, concentrated more on the lashes and the brows. The hair is really flat, very close to the skull. And then she has these beautiful uh, hair pieces that she's made uh, for each girl. So I think it's quite a stunning, you know, it, it's really nice that it's, it's kind of so clean that all the attention will be on the clothes and yet the girls will just look pretty enough to carry them. This collection for DCW this year, it's a bit about freedom. It's about freedom of thought. It's about freedom of expression. It's about breaking the shackles of this is how it should be. It's about breaking the shackles of how a bride should dress, of how someone should attend a wedding, or how someone should dress for an evening or how someone should dress. It's about an emotion that you feel within you and it's about a lot of fine craft, it's about texture, it's about fabric development, it's about old textiles, it's about playing with colour. It's very quiet. It's elegant, it's wearable, it's not something that you have to think 35 times as to what you're going to do with it. But yes, it's very, very edgy and it's pushing the bar forward for me. It's a beautiful organic collection which, is, uh, which speaks a lot about nature in a very quirky sort of way. It starts with India. She needs to respect where she comes from. But then she needs to be extremely international in her approach. She needs to be a free mind who doesn't mind mixing cultures, bringing in her own thing. So for me, that right is important. Because it's red and gold, it's something that uh, I'm very comfortable with. And like I said, it is really my color. I am Olga, and you are watching FDCI presents PCG Daily Couture 2013 in association with Audi. design style is something where I try to do my own personality extension and I generally would like to you know express my own poetic feelings my beliefs in my lifestyles and everything it's little challenging for me to express my own ideas into clothing and fashion but that's how I take fashion in my own stride We are doing makeup for Anju Modi and the collection inspiration is Draupadi. So the makeup is very very simple and traditional. We are doing a classic smoky eye with a nice nude lip. It's just a more highlight on the eyes and the lips are quite neutral and cheeks are sculpted. So very very basic smoky eye again. 
Here is again, we have done something which is kind of a braiding, but it's a very loose braiding and it's just like if you've just braided your hair and you have slept in that and you're living in that hair, so that's a kind of... For this particular series of DCW, I have visualized a very like a contemporary collection, but based on going on back to our epic era of Mahabharat, and I've taken Draupadi as my central character. As I really relate with the Draupadi's uh, theory, characteristics as in beauty, intelligence, knowledge, her uh, pride, her self-respect, a lot many characteristics are there which I feel a woman should have always. So I've taken all these uh, elements in my collection and I started with the reds, crimsons, showing her uh, Swayamvar period. I'm introducing my men's line also, which is, according to me, a little rugged and uh, all very rough fabric like khadi and raw silks and beautiful uh, rugged embroidery, self-embossed look and everything. When I'm showing the little uh, devotional mood of Draupadi after her cheer haran. So then she goes into ochre yellows, ivories, blush colors. They are very trendy colors at the time that's very much in fashion. They should be elegant. They need not be delicate and fragile and things like that. So it is very synonymous with the Draupadi's character. They should be strong, self-respecting. They should be able to defend themselves. Sabu, who fits the brand image very well. I think she is fabulous. The way she characterizes a person, the way she takes care of the role she emotes and her level of understanding going deep into the character and then emoting, I thought she will be the right person to walk for me as a showstopper. Because it's red and gold, it's something that uh, I'm very comfortable with and like I said, it is really my color and also because it stands for uh, a lot of the qualities that Draupadi possessed. So I think it's the right color. And I think it's so much work that has gone into it. It's a great experience. Walking uh, the ramp is always a different experience and very nice. I'm feeling very comfortable in what I'm wearing today. The hero wali feeling I think when you can imagine in the 48 frames the the Sherwani flying slightly and thinner than that.